What's your name and where do you train? Uh, my name is L.C. Davis and I train in American Top Team HD. And uh, how often do you teach? Uh, I teach classes, I uh, teach youth wrestling four nights a week. I teach uh, striking fit here at the gym two to three times a week and as well as private lessons and stuff like that. And then do you train exclusively at your own gym or, or do you train elsewhere as well? I cross train other places. Um, I go get with my man Travis Conley. Uh, I do some strength conditioning and jiu-jitsu with him at Underground Gym and KCBJJ. Um, I also do my strength conditioning with uh, Tom Teeter at City Gym. As well, um, I satellite over to Glory and done some training with James Krause and those guys. And then uh, for this fight, I'm planning on making a trip out to the headquarters, of American Top Team headquarters, and training in uh, Coconut Creek, Florida. And how do you uh, balance managing your own gym in addition to your own personal training? I mean, it's a full load, man. It, it, it's tough balancing everything. Um, but uh, I like to be busy, man. If I'm not doing something a million, you know, every day, then I'm bored, you know. So I try to stay active um, and, and the gym and fighting career and, and family, man, makes me pretty uh, busy. So um, I just try to balance it by, you know, getting equal time with my family and, and make sure I'm focusing on my training and then uh, giving 100% effort to all the members and fighters that I uh, train and coach here at the gym. And now speaking of your family, you're going to have to leave them, obviously, for your training camp in, in uh, Coconut Creek. How long are you planning on staying out there this time? Uh, I'll probably only go out there a, a week or so this time because we're right in the middle of wrestling season. I'm also the head wrestling coach here at the uh, our youth wrestling program here at the gym. Um, so we'll be right in the middle of wrestling season. So I'm planning on going out there like a Sunday through a Friday, come back, and then we have a wrestling tournament every weekend. So I have to get back and coach the kids on wrestling the following weekend. So busy busy plate actually my fight is the same weekend as uh, kids state wrestling so I'm planning on fighting Friday night and flying back to Kansas City as soon as possible jetting to Topeka and coach my kids in the Kansas State Championship that's awesome so uh, within Bellator you're on a two fight win streak right now uh, how many fights are you looking to pick up in, uh, in 15 I would like to fight three times, four times would be amazing, you know, um, I'm shooting for three. I got two last year, so hopefully I get three this year, uh, you know, four would be ideal. I like to fight every three months, two to three months would be ideal. Um, we'll see, you know, uh, here we are, uh, what, um, fighting in March, that's three three months into the year, so got a little more time to get a few more fights in. Um, like I said, I'm 2-0 and in the division, I'm looking to make that 3-0, and I think I should be, you know, knocking on a title title shot in the door soon so we'll see where it goes and uh, your next fight is with Hideo Tokoro and uh, he's an interesting fighter because uh, he's part of that like a late wave of wrestling brawler Japanese guys uh, kind of like off the, the coattails of like Kid Yamamoto and his kind of brawling wrestling style how do you think that that style fits against you I, I feel like it's going to be fireworks against me. I, I feel like I'm kind of from that old school, uh, you know, class of fighters too. You know, I came from military fighting systems and we're known for brawling. Uh, I think my style is kind of stand and bang or sprawl and brawl type of fighter. Um, I like to be on top if I'm on the ground, but I'm not really trying to roll around too much. I'd rather keep it on the feet and use my wrestling. Um, but I think it's going to make for an exciting fight. He's super experienced. He has over 50 fights. He's fought any and everybody you can think of um, from 55 to 35 to 125, you know. So this guy is, he's well experienced. He's going to be a game opponent, and I'm super excited for the challenge. And uh, your last loss was two years ago against Ryan Roberts. And in that match, his ability to retain top position seemed like what won him the split decision. Uh, did that kind of inspire you to work on your bottom game since that match? Yes, yes. Uh, you know, my bottom game has always been kind of a weakness for me. I'm a wrestler, you know, wrestler first. You know, we're not used to being on our back. Um, you know, that's, so that's been a struggle my whole career. Um, that Ryan Roberts fight, he also didn't make weight. So, you know, that was kind yeah. of a catch weight fight. <laughs> I, I fought at 135 and he fought much above that. So, in my opinion, I feel like I'm undefeated at this weight class. I've never been beat at 135 pounds when I fought someone that weighed 135 pounds. So um, in my opinion, I'm 6-0 at 135 pounds, and I don't see no one stopping me, and I'm looking forward to getting that belt in Bellator. Yeah, and I recall you on the stand-up, you were winning that fight as well. Yeah, uh, you know, it, it was a split decision. A lot of people that saw that fight thought I won that fight. You know, I don't want to dwell on the past. It is what it is, you know. Um, he, he's a local boy with a lot of 
uh, momentum behind him. He had a tragedy with, you know, his sister at the time. And, you know, so there's a lot, a lot that went into that, you know. So it is what it is. Hats off to him. Sounds good. Do you want to um, shout out to anybody or, or thank anybody? Uh, yeah, uh, just shout out to all my training partners at American Top Team HD, uh, all my trainers, Wes, uh, Jason Hyde, Travis Conley, uh, Tom Teeter, everybody that helps me out, um, all my sponsors, Italian Delight, everyone that stuck by me, Granite Tops is sponsoring me this fight. Um, anyone looking to sponsor me, hit contact me. Uh, my email is lc.davis at ymail.com and I'm lc underscore davis on Twitter. Cool. Thank you very much. Yeah.